tips good morning today i'm going to explain you one more compressor types this is the piston type of compressor so just you can check this picture and this is the ball one for this compressor and this is the receiver tank and this is the head and uh, this one is pressure switch and this is the safety valve so basically this compressor runs uh, and uh, this compressor like a uh, two stroke engine design compressor in, in this compressor there is a two heads one is the lp and one is the hp lp in the sense low pressure and hp in the sense high pressure this is the motor so 7.5 motor is there and uh, this is the pulley and belt from electrical into mechanical so it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy once the mechanical energy is come then compressor will start to working and there is a inside pistons is there and piston rings is there so it will start compress air from each cylinder and once the compressed air will go from this hose to receiver tank okay but this is the 7.5 sp motor and they are using dual start dual direct online start for 7.5 sp so and for controlling the pressure in this compressor there is a pressure switch like it will operate compressor so minimum and maximum pressure once the compressor pressure will reach to 7.5 bar or 10 bar compressor will stop once the pressure come down to up to 6.5 bar again compressor will start this is the function of pressure switch here there is a 230 volt supply and there is a nonc connections and this is the safety valve once the for example the uh, receiver tank maximum final pressure is 17 bar and compressor uh, that 17 bar compressor receiver tank can withstand for safety purpose they are mentioned 17 pressure per pressure but for this compressor working pressure is 10 bar so if it is more than 10 bar pressure is getting building from compressor then automatically safety wall will blow this safety wall will blow like push 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 then it seems there is a problem in pressure switch because pressure switch need to cut out the compressor for for 10 bar if it is not cutting the compressor then the problem is pressure switch because of that safety valve is blowing if pressure switch is acting as NONC but still the safety valve is getting blown air from there uh, that, that, that means the safety valve got failed the plunger got uh, uh, this uh, Got that, we need to, that we need to replace new safety valve and for the, uh, in this compressor there is no uh, controller like display and uh, operating controller and to check the pressure here there is a pressure gauge we can able to check here pressure what about the inside pressure of the air receiver and all those things okay this is the motor and compressor and uh, for this safety purpose always for this compressor should must and should uh, this safety guard should be there uh, fixed because so if it is in open condition there is a belts and fans it may be harm to man or some other uh, in this issues so that's why the guard is very important for this compressor okay so this is the uh, piston compressor details so you next time uh, next video i will explain how it is working and how the compressor will uh, compress the air and uh, if it get back pressure from receiver tank what will happen and why oil leakage is getting in this compressors and why this compressor is not nowadays not using for what purpose they are, it, it is using all those things i will explain you in details in next video thanks thanks for watching my videos thank you very much